The Target 12 investigators continue to track the legal fees tied to this lawsuit. If this latest settlement is approved, that amount paid to lawyers will go up, but the amount owed to taxpayers will go down. Target 12 investigator Walt Buto joins us now with more details. About 18% will pay legal fees from this settlement, and that is just shy of the total percentage paid to date from all of the settlements. $450,000 from the settlement that would drop shilling, and 338 Studios executives from the lawsuit will pay legal fees. The lion's share, almost $7.1 million of what's been paid to date, have gone to Max Wistow's firm, Wistow, Sheehan, and Lovely. Governor Lincoln Chafee hired that Providence law firm about four years ago to file the lawsuit. Suit. The Commerce Corporation has also paid Wistow's firm almost $900,000 for out-of-pocket expenses such as legal experts and creating and photocopying the paper trail that includes more than 2 million pages. The Commerce Corporation's general counsel, Schechtman, Halperin, and Savage, has been paid just over $460,000. The New York firm Cohen and Gresser was paid about $390,000 to represent the state in the Securities and Exchange Commission investigation. If the latest settlement is approved, the total in legal fees would rise to just under $9.3 million. According to the state, law firms generally take from 30 to 35 percent in contingency fees from this type of lawsuit. Wistow's firm agreed to take 16 percent. With the Target 12 investigators, Walt Buteau, Eyewitness News. And count on Eyewitness News for continuing coverage on 38 Studios. We'll be following this story every step of the way for years now because it affects you, the taxpayers. We'll have in-depth coverage, including a timeline of all the events on WPRI.com.